Hello, welcome to part 9 of Clinical Physiotherapy MCQ series. Let's move to our 41st question. A 22-year-old patient is hospitalized awaiting a lung transplant due to cystic fibrosis. The patient's physician is interested in an objective measure of patient's preoperative endurance. Which of the following tests is most appropriate for physical therapies to admire to this patient? Option A, VO2 max treadmill test. Option B, two-step test. Option C, submaximal exercise test on a cycle ignometer. Option D, six-minute walk test. And the answer is... Option D, six-minute walk test. Explanation to this question is, the patient is too ill for either the VO2 max treadmill test or two-step test. The submaximal excess test is not an sensitive or specific a test as the 6-minute walk test. The 6-minute walk test is designed for accurately ill cardiopulmonary patients. Moving to our 42nd question. When you palpating the spinoscapula, you noticed a large muscle knot in your patient. For a point of reference, in your progress note, you record that the patient has muscle spasm at the spine of the scapula. What vertebral level you could say the correspond with the spine of scapula to further clarify the note? Option A, T5, Option B, T3, Option C, T7, Option D, T12. And the answer is... Option B, T3. Explanation to this question is, T3 is the vertebral level to which the spine of scapula corresponds. Moving to our 43rd question. Your patient is a 36-year-old factory worker who comes to physical therapy secondary to a crush injury of a right form a molding press. The patient reports to physical therapy for evaluation and treatment. You are to begin the treatment to reduce edema and assist in elevating pain while regaining the range of motion. You are palpating the dorsal row of the carpal bone to determine the pain and edema. Which of the following would you not be palpating in distal row of the carpal bone? Option A, trapezoid. Option B, lunate. Option C, capitate. Option D, hematite. And the answer is... Option B, lunate. Explanation to this question is... You would not be palpating the lunate bone because it's not included in the dorsal row of the carpal bones. The carpal bones include the trapezoid, capitate and hematite. The trapezoid is a small carpal bone located at the center of the wrist and having a round head that fits the convexity of the scaphoid and lunate bone. The hamitate bone is a carpal bone that rests on the fourth and fifth metacarpal bone and projects a hook-like process from its palmar surface. Moving to our 44th question, a physiotherapist observed the gait of a 4-year-old child with spastic cerebral palsy. The therapist verifies that the child exhibits excessive low doses during ambulation. Which surgical procedure would best address this postural deformity? Option A. Lumbar laminectomy. Option B. Iliosoyous tendon lengthening. Option C. Adductor longus tendon lengthening. Option D. Hamstring tendon lengthening. And the answer is... Option B, iliosoyous tendon lengthening. Explanation to this question is, the treatment of iliosoyous tendon, it depends on the severity of inflammation of and trauma to the tendon. Surgery can remove the inflamed tissue. It can also release the tendon so that catching no longer occurs. Moving to our 45th question, a patient involved in a motor vehicle accident one week ago has multiple fractures of the lower extremity and is non-weight bearing bilaterally. The patient lives with an elderly parent and scheduled for discharge soon. Which of the following transfer is most appropriate in this situation? Option A. Standing pivot. Option B. One person lift. Option C. Sliding board. Option D. Two person lift. And the answer is... Option C, sliding board. Explanation to this question is, since the patient is non-weight bearing bilaterally, standing pivot transfer is contraindicated. Since the caretaker is elderly, neither a one person or nor two person lift is safe choice. Since the caretaker is elderly and the patient is non-weight bearing bilaterally, the sliding board transfer is the best choice of the options given. 
So that's all for today. If you need clarification for any of the question, do comment in the comment box. I have given the explanation in the description box also. If you need to watch the part 9 of this series, do subscribe to this channel. Thank you.